Having a solid understanding of core security concepts will support your growth in this field. One way to better understand these core concepts is by organizing them into categories called security domains. As of 2022, CISSP has defined eight domains to organize the work of security professionals. It's important to understand that these domains are related and that gaps in one domain can result in negative consequences to an entire organization. It's also important to understand the domains because it may help you better understand your career goals and your role within an organization. As you learn more about the elements of each domain, the work involved in one may appeal to you more than the others. This domain may become a career path for you to explore further. CISSP defines eight domains in total. Security and risk management, asset security, security architecture and engineering, and communication and network security. Let's start with the first domain, security and risk management. Security and risk management focuses on defining security goals and objectives, risk mitigation, compliance, business continuity, and the law. For example, security analysts may need to update company policies related to private health information if a change is made to a federal compliance regulation, such as the Health Insurance Portability and Accountability Act, also known as HIPAA. The second domain is asset security. This domain focuses on securing digital and physical assets. It's also related to the storage, maintenance, retention, and destruction of data. When working with this domain, security analysts may be tasked with making sure that old equipment is properly disposed of and destroyed, including any type of confidential information. The third domain is security architecture and engineering. This domain focuses on optimizing data security by ensuring effective tools, systems, and processes are in place. As a security analyst, you may be tasked with configuring a firewall. A firewall is a device used to monitor and filter incoming and outgoing computer network traffic. Setting up a firewall correctly helps prevent attacks that could affect productivity. The fourth security domain is communication and network security. This domain focuses on managing and securing physical networks and wireless communications. As a security analyst, you may be asked to analyze user behavior within your organization. Imagine discovering that users are connecting to unsecured wireless hotspots. This could leave the organization and its employees vulnerable to attacks. To ensure communications are secure, you would create a network policy to prevent and mitigate exposure. Maintaining an organization's security is a team effort, and there are many moving parts. As an entry-level analyst, you will continue to develop your skills by learning how to mitigate risks to keep people and data safe. You don't need to be an expert in all domains, but having a basic understanding of them will aid you in your journey as a security professional. You're doing great. We have just introduced the first four security domains. We'll introduce you to the next four security domains. Identity and access management, security assessment and testing, security operations, and software development security. Familiarizing yourself with these domains will allow you to navigate the complex world of security. The domains outline and organize how a team of security professionals work together. Depending on the organization, Analyst roles may sit at the intersection of multiple domains or focus on one specific domain. Knowing where a particular role fits within the security landscape will help you prepare for job interviews and work as part of a full security team. Let's move into the fifth domain, identity and access management. Identity and access management focuses on keeping data secure by ensuring users follow established policies to control and manage physical assets, like office spaces, and logical assets, such as networks and applications. Validating the identities of employees and documenting access roles are essential to maintaining the organization's physical and digital security. For example, as a security analyst, 
you may be tasked with setting up employees' key card access to buildings. The sixth domain is security assessment and testing. This domain focuses on conducting security control testing, collecting and analyzing data, and conducting security audits to monitor for risks, threats, and vulnerabilities. Security analysts may conduct regular audits of user permissions to make sure that users have the correct level of access. For example, access to payroll information is often limited to certain employees, so analysts may be asked to regularly audit permissions to ensure that no unauthorized person can view employees' salaries. The seventh domain is security operations. This domain focuses on conducting investigations and implementing preventative measures. Imagine that you, as a security analyst, receive an alert that an unknown device has been connected to your internal network. You would need to follow the organization's policies and procedures to quickly stop the potential threat. The final eighth domain is software development security. This domain focuses on using secure coding practices, which are a set of recommended guidelines that are used to create secure applications and services. A security analyst may work with software development teams to ensure security practices are incorporated into the software development lifecycle. If, for example, one of your partner teams is creating a new mobile app, then you may be asked to advise on the password policies or ensure that any user data is properly secured and managed. That ends our introduction to CISSP's eight security domains. Challenge yourself to better understand each of these domains and how they affect the overall security of an organization. CISSP's eight security domains provide a way to organize the work of security professionals. Remember, every security professional is essential. Your unique point of view, professional background, and knowledge are valuable. So the diversity you bring to the field will further improve the security industry as you work to keep organizations and people safe.